Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at another game in the uh, Nintendo vs. Arcade series. And these are often uh, NES games, but just generally harder in the uh, arcade version. And this one is called vs. Battle City. And this is the second game in the uh, Tank Battalion series. Tank Battalion was created by Namco in 1980. And this is kind of a cool game. I like this. Uh, this game was suggested by YouTube user um, Namcot Enterprises. And uh, the uh, uh, gist of this game, it's very similar to uh, uh, Tank Battalion, except that uh, this time around you get power-ups. You can play two-player simultaneous play. And your goal, I like how in this uh, attract mode, Battle City is part of the play field, the, the title. And it's made of bricks, and the bricks you can destroy. Um, the, uh, the green area is grass. You can drive through that, you can shoot through that. The white walls, you can only shoot if you get certain power-ups. And we'll go ahead and get started. But as in Tank Battalion, your main goal is to protect that flag. And that's that bird at the bottom center. Uh, like I said before, the bricks can be shot through. Those white bricks cannot be shot through unless you get the right amount of power-ups. And power-ups... Uh, well, the, the power-ups you need to get in order to shoot through the white bricks are stars and you can upgrade the strength of your uh, of your uh, shot from your tank four times well uh, actually three times for a total of four strength levels and that the uh, power-ups the other power-ups you can get are from shooting uh, the uh, red tanks like that one there and uh, they'll release an icon somewhere on the screen and that icon gave me a shield the shield lasts for a while whoa 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 <laughs> he almost shot through the brick and destroyed my flag and in between levels it shows you uh, how you got to the uh, score that you have now those don't add to your score I mean uh, it shows you the, the score that you have at the top and that's due to the uh, bonuses that you got during the level that it shows you those aren't added to your score and there are some power-ups that will act as a smart bomb and that is a grenade icon now, there are pictures of these uh, of these things in the uh, that pop up in the icons the shovel will reinforce the walls around the flag and make them uh, white and that icon gave me a shield there is a uh, helmet icon that gives you a shield there is a clock that will stop all the tanks for a while and note that the tanks appear from the top left the top center and the top right those are the three areas that they appear from eventually some of the tanks will require multiple shots to bring down four shots and there I brought down the last one and again this shows me uh, the points that I uh, got from destroying the tanks during the level and there are a total of like 20 tanks possible and again they keep appearing from the top left the top center and the top right remember that because if you uh, run into a tank and you're not ready it can blast you right away but again those flashing red tanks are the ones that will uh, drop a uh, power-up icon somewhere on the screen and if there is a star as the power-up icon, 
you can collect a total ah crap <laughs> you can collect a total there's a star of uh, of three of them to fully power up your tank and your tank can get faster shots they can reach further out and they can eventually take out the uh, white bricks whoa <laughs> let's get that uh, grenade icon so I can take all those guys out at once you know what I think that you should get bonus points for taking out multiple guys at once with that grenade you don't the tanks can be up to like uh, 400 points I think but that's on later levels I believe some of the tanks are much faster than the others so if you see one that's very fast and it's moving towards your uh, it's moving towards your uh, flag go after it quickly <laughs> uh, some of the some of the level designs are cute and uh, reference older uh, Namco games I'm not sure what this character is but uh, oh might be from Libble Rabble yeah it might be Libble Rabble came out a couple years before this game there was a later game uh, I think it was called Tank Force in in the uh, Tank Battalion series and I think it was the game after this it came out in like 1990 or something yeah, I think this might be an enemy from Libble Rabble. Um, there is also a Puka from Dig Dug <laughs> on a later level. We'll look at at least screenshots of all the levels. And there are a total of like, uh, I think it's 36. And they just repeat. And then they're called like level 37 and 38 and so on. Yeah, if you have the uh, time stop clock, you can be bold and go to the top and uh, take out the enemies where they spawn. And there is a star for a power-up, and I'm going to collect it. Yeah, see, my shot's faster. That is the first power-up, and then uh, the next one will allow me to shoot through the uh, white walls. See the blue? That is water. Uh, you cannot go through it, but you can shoot over it. Your shots will go right over it and uh, hit any enemies on the other side. Yeah, you get a maximum of 400 points for the tanks. And I think that's, that's just for the ones that require several shots. Yeah, even if... Uh, even if the the red tank uh, is one that requires several shots, just hitting it the first time will make it uh, release a uh, power up icon somewhere on the screen. Yeah, the high score default is twenty thousand, and if you pass it, you get an extra life, and that is the only extra life you get, I believe. The uh, NES part of this, I think, it's it's very similar, I, but I think it has a uh, free life icon appear somewhere on the screen. You don't have to hurry to go get the, uh, the power-up icon. It'll stay there for a little while before it disappears. And there I got my next uh, power-up icon. If you die, you lose all your power-up icons and you have to start over, which sucks. And I think, again, I think that you should uh, get like a special bonus for taking out a bunch of enemies with your smart bomb. Like maybe an increasing bonus. First enemy 200, the next 400, then 800, 1600 or something. 
But other than that, I think this game's pretty cool. Yeah, even if that's the last enemy and you have a power-up icon on the screen, just grab it. Get some extra points. Yeah, I noticed that you've got invincibility for like a few seconds or so to start the level. But yeah, go after go after that uh, red tank if you can. Let's see what uh, icon it'll it'll uh, make appear there. I got another uh, uh, shield. But yeah, you can drive through the grass. Whoa! Do not shoot! <laughs> oh crap! I I blew open uh, part of my uh, shield around the flag. This is a good. This was a good strategy game back in. I mean, the uh, the original was a good strategy game back in uh, 1980. It had very uh, uh, skippy animation. It was pretty primitive, but and this is obviously much better. And there's a smart bomb. I love the smart bomb. There can only be a maximum of four tanks on the screen at once. And again, remember where they spawn from. Top left, top center, and top right. But again, you start you start at power up uh, at power one, and with each additional star, you go up another uh, power up. And there, I've gotten to uh, power up level three. And when you're at three, you can shoot through the white walls. And there is a total of four uh, power up levels. But again, if you're if you're looking at player one score, and then you look at these bonuses for the certain tanks you destroy, that's that's not going to be added to your score. That was already added to your score before. Is this supposed to be mappy? It's kind of a weird looking one. Of course, mappy is another Namco game. And is that the clock icon? Yeah, it's, it's going to freeze the tanks. Even uh, when you freeze the tanks, they'll still respawn, but they'll uh, they'll be stationary. And note that you can take out the enemy's shots. With your shots. But, um... You can uh, destroy your own flag if you're, if you're not careful. <laughs> and, uh... It's got uh, the reinforced wall around it, but I can uh, I can shoot through that. <laughs> and again, the power-up icons. There's a shovel that le lets you. It reinforces the walls around your flag. There's a grenade that acts as a smart bomb. There's a uh, helmet that acts as a shield. There's a clock that stops all the tanks, freezes them all. And there is a star that powers up uh, the strength of your tank. Now we go to stage eight. Now a lot of these, a lot of these uh, uh, patterns. I'm sure there's. Uh, I'm sure there's a reference to some Namco game or something in them, and I don't know what it is. I don't know about this pattern here. But yeah, this is, a, this is a good game. I'd never seen or heard of this for the arcade. I think I'd barely heard of it for the uh, NES. The uh, flyer we saw earlier, I think, was Battle City for the uh, uh, Famicom, because it said Namcot, and that was, I believe, the name given to uh, uh, 
Famicom releases. But generally, the company Namco goes by the name Namco. It's hard to see the tanks uh, through the grass. So if you're going to go in the grass and uh, there's a tank in there somewhere, uh, you might have a hard time. <laughs> And yeah, there's a, a an enemy tank remaining indicator in the top right of the screen. So maybe keep an eye on that to see how many tanks are left. But yeah, the first game in this series is Tank Battalion, created by Namco and licensed to Game Plan in 1980. There, I got the clock icon again to freeze the uh, enemy tanks. And it just, it just lasts for about eight seconds or so. I'd never seen a tank battalion in arcades. But it is, it is a, it is definitely a, a playable classic. It's just the, the movements of the tank are so stiff and glitchy. Yeah, throughout the game, I don't think any of the tanks can ever shoot through the white walls. Ah, crap. <laughs> but yeah, as in uh, Tank Battalion, if your uh, flag is destroyed, it is game over. No matter how many lives you got left. But yeah, I've uh I've never played this in uh, arcades before the versus version and I I never played it for the NES or actually I've never played the Famicom period woo glad that was the last tank anytime you've got a, a side that's completely exposed just get in the way of it and if you've got multiple lives left and you're worried about a tank destroying your flag it's, it's not a terrible idea to sacrifice a life just to save the flag. But yeah, again, when when you've uh, got a bunch of power-ups and you lose life, you lose all those power-ups. Which sucks, but... Oh, well. There's a power-up. And I lost it promptly. And it's game over. Oh, well. Well, hell, I did, I did pretty damn good. That is, versus Battle City. A little bit of fanfare for my high score. Well, we'll look at some gameplay of me having full power-up. Uh, full power-ups. And it's a little look at stage 11. There's a skull for the... For part of the, uh... Uh, level layout. Yeah, I've got multiple shots on screen at once, and they're very fast, and they're powerful enough to cut through the white walls like butter. And I, I put on invincibility. It gives you infinite shield. And there's uh, level 12. And level 13. Level 14, level 15, yeah, like I said, I'm sure these are references to some other Namco game, but I don't know what they are. There's a Praying Mantis for level 16, and then 17. That gray area you, you can drive through, no problem. Level 18, is that a dragonfly, I guess? Level 19, not sure what that is. 
level 20 level 21 and there's the puka from dig dug level 22 level 23 it's like a eagle or something i don't know what that's from though level 24 25 26 don't know what that is 27 28 there's a house <laughs> 29 uh, 30 I'm not sure what that is is that puka eyes floating through dirt and dig dug I don't know 31 32 <laughs> I don't know what that is uh, 33 uh, 34 some devil creature or something 35, there's a Galaxian. And then it starts back over and recycles all the levels. That is Versus Battle City by Namco in 1985. Second game in the uh, Tank Battalion series. Well, this is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching. I will catch you later in the future with another video. Y'all enjoy uh, the holiday weekend. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.